Yo, 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 what's going on, YouTubers? Flashback Gaming here today, and I'm going to be showing you a really expensive Brazilian squad builder. So, yeah, I'm just going to go straight into showing you the squad. This squad does feature four informs and two team of the year's players, so that's really why it's really expensive. So, first, I'm going to be showing you the goalkeeper, and the goalkeeper I've picked to show you is Julio Cesar inform. He did cost me roughly 105,000 and is the highest rated Brazilian goalkeeper only because he's in form because normally they're 82 rated and yeah he's a pretty decent goalkeeper has some decent stats so that's why I picked him and now I'm going to be showing you the left back and the left back I've chosen to show you is team of the year Marcelo with 87 pace um, he is quite expensive he cost me 480,000 but he does have really good stats, mainly because he's team of the year with 87 pace, 87 passing, 88 dribbling, 86 defending and 74 heading. Yeah, so he really has great stats and that's why I've picked him. And alongside him, I've picked a really good centre-back who I think is maybe the best centre-back in FIFA apart from Ramos. And that is Thiago Silva in form. Um, he did cost me roughly 450000 he does have 83 pace with 89 defending also has 84 heading and 80 passing so he's really good and that's the reason why I've picked him and alongside him I've picked the next fastest centre back with 81 pace you can also choose Philip Santana who also has 81 pace it, de it depends on who you prefer but I prefer Dede mainly because of his strength so I've picked Dede who is the dreamt fastest second Brazilian centre back so so far it has been pretty decent defence and at right back I've chosen team of the year Danny Alves with 93 pace which is the same as inform Ronaldo and also has 88 dribbling 86 passing and 86 defending which is just absolutely mad and that's why he's a 90 rated right back and I think he's the highest rated right back in FIFA so that is why I've picked him and in centre mid I've chosen fastest players of course once again because this is also the fastest Brazilian team um, squad builder and in centre mid I have chosen to put Oscar at left centre mid mainly because he is joint fastest with, um, I think it's Coutinho who's recently joined Liverpool. But I've picked him just because he'll have a better chemistry with Ramirez, which is my next midfielder who I've put in centre mid, of course. And they do have a good chemistry, that's why I've put them there. And at right centre mid, I've chosen Wellington who has 92 pace. He is in fact a striker, as you may know, but I've picked him because... Um, of a Russian link which I'll show you in a minute and also because he is also been played in centre mid so I brought him in centre mid for about 17,500 so that is pretty expensive for Wellington but he is really good in centre mid actually and the reason why I put him in centre mid is because Hulk is playing on right wing and that brings a good chemistry between them because they're both playing a Russian league and Hulk is a really good right wing and that I brought him for about 6,500 um, not expensive good star skills move and a bad weak foot at two star weak foot but I think that's really underrated and he does have 90 pace and 82 dribbling and 85 shot so he's really good and on left wing I have chosen inform Lucas at 93 pace this guy's stats are amazing 93 pace 81 shot 82 passing and 90 dribbling i think this is in fact his second in form because his first in form was a right wing but this one's left wing and he does have four star skill moves and three star weak foot and i bought him for roughly 140,000. and this leads on to the striker which you may know neymar in form 91 pace and his in form is actually in a strike position that's why i put in there and he does have 91 pace 92 dribbling 83 shot and he is very expensive um and cost me about 1.1 million however 
if you run a pace team like this you can make changes I suggest you probably do I kind of prefer Neymar as a winger because he's not that strong but he is good up front however I would probably put him left wing put Lucas back in centre mid and put Wellington in a striking position anyway that's the squad builder and now I'm going to show you some game footage so please watch Neymar, there he is, always wanting to take players on. And here it is. And he takes the shot. Oh, it's in there. Neymar. Now here's a chance for a counter at possibilities here. Neymar. And the shot's off. And the ball's in. It's a goal. Well, now they are in front. Neymar. Possibilities here, and here's the shot. He stopped, he can't, he scored. Neymar. And he's found his teammate. And he shoots. The goal stands. Neymar. Now the defenders think that's probably just about. And he's taken the chance beautifully. Get a goal here until the defender came in. Well, we've hit the 85-minute mark. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. They've scored! Enjoy the next 90 minutes of football. Now, here's a chance to get forward quickly. Here's a chance. And, the... and he lets fly here. And he's put it in for the goal. This was just some clips to show you how good they're at scoring, how fast they are, and how skillful they are. And if you want to see more clips from them to see how good they are, then please just watch my Road to Division 1 Ultimate Team, which will be on my channel. And thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Flashback Gaming.